right you're gonna have splinters from that fence you've mentioned Haaland so that's, so that's where I want to go next um Pep said Haaland is a machine like Ronaldo but Messi's more complete so basically that's just paraphrasing what he said because he was asked if he's now at the level of Ronaldo and Messi and Pep said in terms of the thesis of scoring goals he's quite similar in terms with that with Cristiano but Messi's more complete Messi can play wherever where Cristiano and Erling are machines. And I must say that he did go on to say that Erling Haaland realises everything that Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo have achieved and that he's just starting out relatively in terms of that. But what do you make of this whole conversation and putting his name among the likes of Ronaldo and Messi? Well, I make it as, as nonsense. I mean, you have to answer, answer the question, but you, you've said it. I mean, obviously, he's got time. He's got to win uh, as many trophies as Messi has won uh, or or uh, or Cristiano Ronaldo. In fact, at this moment, and again, it's not a knife because he's young, he's not as good as Harry Kane and he's not as good as Robert Lewandowski at his best, right? You know, Robert Lewandowski is older and towards the end. So, I mean, when you look at that, and I could probably come up with another player or two uh, uh, there, but it, it, in those four, he still has a long way ways to go because of trophies now he's achieved an incredible amount for such a young players right now and you can say he's on the way but in terms of overall he's not as complete i think as any of the players that i just mentioned nowhere close i mean even in that game uh and here i go again i'm gonna you know i hope that fans don't make me for erling holland hater because i'm not i respect him i think he's a wonderful player but you know we're here for the detail right we're not here just to fluff and 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 talk, talk in generalities because even in that last game if you watch erling holland before his goals he looked so uncomfortable on the ball. I mean, it was a, it was to a point where he was trying so hard with his first, second touches. He was looking to combine, and, and it didn't look great, right? He's a pure finisher. Uh, you know, he'll never become, you know, Leo Messi, Harry Kane in terms of how he drops and how he combines even Lewandowski, you know, going back a little bit. Although Lewandowski is still more of a finisher, I suppose. But even Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, 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 you know, I don't know if I compare him to it. So on many levels, it's way too early. It's unfair. It's somewhat irresponsible to even try to compare Erling Haaland. Uh, but in terms of pure finishing, he's up there with anybody. So you've brought Harry Kane into this one. Is he going to win silverware before Harry Kane? Oh, <laughs> yes. I mean, he's won something with Dortmund, right? I'm sure already. I, I can't even remember. Maybe he hasn't. Uh, apologies right now because you put me on the spot. I, I can't I'm remember. just talking but, about in the Premier League. Oh, of course. Of course he's going to he's gonna win that before. Oh, uh, un, you know, unless Harry Kane leaves and somehow finds himself, at, you know, I don't know, I mean, at Manchester United or, you know, big clubs, I, I suppose. Uh, anything's possible. But yes, overall, certainly Erling Haaland will win many more trophies than Harry so obviously you've talked about the fact that time and consistency has to factor into when he gets compared to the, the greats of the game right now. What areas does he need to work on? You just mentioned there his work on the ball. What, what else does he need to work on to get up to the level? Well, I mean, I, I still think that technically, I, I mean, look, I, and, and that's hard because maybe we're asking for impossible. Like, you know, as I'm saying all these things, listening to the fans and even listening to, to myself, I'm asking myself, am I fair to him? I mean, should we be asking him for that? I mean, there are players, as I mentioned, I mean, he, he he's a superb athlete, big, big man. Uh, and, and maybe he's not made out to be that sort of a player. Uh, he's going to get better at that in combination, his technique. I, I think understanding space a little bit deeper, right? Because he understands space right in front of goal. He knows where his sweet spot is. Absolutely, right? I mean, you saw on that header, he had another header, which I, I don't know how he didn't put away. I think by his own admission, he said that he should be actually even better in the air. I remember saying it. I, I remember him saying that even like, maybe two weeks ago and, and you know that miss on the header was maybe a great example of that but he's such a a, a forceful such a big massive dynamic uh player that maybe we shouldn't be asking him uh, for that now we can compare players overall i suppose uh, because that's what we do uh but i think if he continues to develop his finishing skills and maybe extends his range just a little bit right uh then he's going to be a great player but in terms of combination confidence on the ball and looking to play and play make uh, that's almost unfair the only thing i would add to that look how late 
Harry Kane has learned to play differently, right? I mean, we never saw Harry Kane uh, do that until, say, maybe last season, right? Where he had that understanding with Hume and Son and had, I don't know, 14, 15 assists. It was absolutely wonderful. But he's changed this game later in, in his career. So I suppose it's, it's possible. But to be quite honest, I don't see a massive change in the way Erling Haaland plays. And to be fair, if he continues his scoring, who cares? I mean, maybe he shouldn't change. Okay, lastly then, and it's the, the ages they are now, we're not talking about one player at a certain age. Who would you rather have if you were the City boss, Erling Haaland or Harry Kane? I would still take Harry Kane. I mean, if Harry Kane was a little bit younger, let's take Harry no, Kane. No, it's as, as oh, they are right now. As they are right so 29 now. 29-year-old Harry Kane. Then I stay with Erling Haaland because it doesn't really matter because, because Manchester City do not need Harry Kane or Haaland as we've seen last season thank you very much for watching espn fc on youtube for more highlights analysis and exclusive content be sure to subscribe